In this video, we're going to talk about graphing nonlinear equations by plotting points. Well, before we do that, let's graph a linear equation by plotting points. So, the example I have is y equal to 2x minus 3. Let's choose x equal to negative 1, 0, and 1. And let's substitute those x values now. So when I substitute in negative 1, I get 2 times negative 1 minus 3. That's negative 2 minus 3. So that's negative 5. So the ordered pair is negative 1, negative 5. Plugging in 0, I get 0 minus 3. That's negative 3. So the ordered pair is 0, comma, negative 3. And when I plug in x equal to 1, that's 2 times 1. That's 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So the ordered pair is 1, negative 1. Now let's plot these three points on this coordinate plane below. Okay, now that they're plotted, let's connect the dots and get our line. Okay, so now let's start graphing nonlinear equations. But we're still going to be plotting points. Now, this x squared minus 3, that's the same thing as y equal to x minus 0, the quantity squared minus 3. What is going to make the inside here 0? Well, that's going to be x equal to 0. So I'm going to put 0 in the middle here. And I'm going to go 1 and 2, and then negative 1 and negative 2 here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to plot these five points in for x. These are the values I get for y. So when I plug in negative 2, negative 2 squared, that's 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So the ordered pair, negative 2, 1. Plugging in negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so the ordered pair is negative 1, negative 2. 0, plugging in 0, you get 0 squared, which is 0 minus 3, that's negative 3, so the ordered pair is 0, negative 3. When I plug in 1, that's still 1 minus 3, that's negative 2, and then again, plugging in 2, you get 4. So notice when I put 0 in the middle, both negative 1 and 1 had the same y coordinate, and negative 2 and 2 had the same y coordinate. So that is going to directly affect our graph here. So let's plot these five points now. So you can notice it's not a line. Well, let's connect the dots and see what this picture looks like. Well, it's a U-shaped picture. Well, this picture is what is called a parabola. So notice one of the variables, which x in this case is squared, and the other variable, which is y, is to the first power. All right, let's take a look at another example. Well, here it's x equal to y squared minus 3. So this is going to change. I'm going to plug in y values into this equation because x is already solved in this equation. So y squared minus 3 is the same thing as y minus 0 squared minus 3. What makes the inside here 0? Well, when y is equal to 0, the inside here is 0. So I'm going to put 0 in the middle, similarly to the last example. I'm going to put 1 and 2, and negative 1 and negative 2 above. Now I'm going to plug in these y values to get an x value. And these are the x values that I get. Now notice, when I have y equal to 0, the y values here, or excuse me, x values are the same, and these particular x values are the same. So now let's plot these five points on the coordinate plane below. Again, notice this is not a line. It looks like it's a parabola, but let's connect the dots to verify this. It is a parabola, but instead of the parabola opening upwards, like in the last example, this parabola is opening to the right. Okay, let's take a look at the next example then. So here it's y equal to, that's the absolute value of x plus 5. So again, where am I going to start? Well, let's look inside the absolute value. What x value makes the inside 0? Well, that's negative 5. So I'm going to put negative 5 in the middle here. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to go negative 4 and negative 3, and then negative 6 and negative 7. 
So let's plug in these five values in for x to see what our y values are going to be. So with negative 7, the absolute value of negative 7 plus 5, well, that's negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So the ordered pair, negative 7, 2. Plugging in negative 6, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. But the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Our ordered pair, negative 6, 1. Plugging in negative 5, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Plugging in negative 4, negative 4 plus 5 is 1 and the absolute value of 1 is 1. Plugging in negative 3, that's negative 3 plus 5, that's 2, and the absolute value of 2 is 2. So now that we've got our five ordered pairs, let's plot these points on the coordinate plane below. So you can see we plotted these below. This doesn't look U-shaped. It almost looks like it's V-shaped. So let's connect the dots and see what we have here. So the absolute value graph is V-shaped, and a quadratic equation is more U-shaped. Okay, let's take a look at one other example. Now again, notice here it's the equation to solve for X. So in this particular case, I'm going to pick Y values. Let's go inside the absolute value again. Well, what value for Y can I plug in that makes the inside zero? Well, in this case, that's going to be 3. I'm going to put that in the middle here. So then I'm going to pick 4 and 5, and then 2 and 1. So now let's plot these five y values into this equation to see what x values come out. So plugging in 1, 1 minus 3, that's negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So the ordered pair is 2, 1. Plugging in 2, 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1, so the ordered pair is 1, 2. Plugging in 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, and the absolute value of 0 is 0, so the ordered pair is 0, 3. And you can see the same thing for y equal to 4 and y equal to 5. So now let's plot these five points below on the coordinate plane. So again, looks like an absolute value, or a V shape, so let's connect the dots now. But notice here, the absolute value equation is opening to the right rather than upwards for the, la for the previous example. The last page I've included here is graphs of different types of functions. Okay? So make sure that you take a look at these different types of functions and be able to identify these all of these different types of graphs you can do by plotting points just like we've done for the rest of this video.